Welcome to Control Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be explaining example of conversion of block diagram into signal flow graph and why we need to do this. The reason is here you can see a huge block diagram is given and it is very difficult to solve by having block diagram reduction method. So one can go for a conversion of block diagram into signal flow graph and by using machines gain formula, we can easily have a transfer function C by R of signal flow graph. So before we convert block diagram into signal flow graph, all we need to do is we need to place nodes. So how to assign nodes? So see, first of all, I'll assign nodes step by step and then we will give numbering. So first of all, we need to assign nodes at input and output. So I'm assigning nodes. You can see here, this is one node which is there at input and this is second node that is there at output. Now secondly, we need to assign nodes to all the adders. So see this is one adder, I am assigning node here. So second is assign node to all the adders. So I have assigned nodes to all the adders. Now third rule that is assign nodes to all the joints. So see here there is a joint. We should assign nodes here. We should assign node here. We should assign node here. So we can assign nodes to all the joint. Now we should assign nodes to two consecutive blocks, but here there is no consecutive blocks. So we cannot assign it, but you need to remember this. First is assign node to all inputs and output. Second is assign node to all adders. And third is assign nodes to all the joints. You can see these are the joints where we have assigned nodes. These are adders where we have assigned nodes and input and output there we, where we have assigned nodes. Now give numbering. And last is assign nodes in between two consecutive blocks. But here there is no consecutive block so we don't need to assign it. So now we will be giving numbering to all those nodes. So see this is what first node is second, is third, is this fourth, this is fifth, is sixth, is seventh, is eight, it is nine. Now we have assigned nine nodes which one can see here. So first I'll I'll make nine nodes is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth and nine. At first node that is input that is R and at ninth node that is output that is C. Now we need to connect all those things which is there in this basic circuit. So we will do it step by step. Now see there is nothing in between 1 to 2. So let us connect it. I have connected it. Let us say it is 1. Now in between 2 to 3 there is nothing. So let us connect it by 1. In between 3 to 4 there is G1. So let us connect it with direction G1. In between 4 to 5, there is nothing. So you just connect it by 1. In between 5 to 6, there is G2. So by direction, 5 to 6, G2, we need to connect it. In between 6 to 7, there is G3. So 6 to 7, by this direction, there is G3. 7 to 8, there is nothing, so we just connect it by 1. 8 to 9, there is nothing, so connect it by 1. Now, this G4 is there, which is there in between 5 and 6, 7, sorry, 5 and 7. So, 5 and 7, there is G4. By this direction, I have connected it. Now we need to see this H1, H2 and this loop. 
So see H2 that is connected with negative feedback. So that is there in between 8 to 4. So 8 to 4. There is H2 but I need to write minus H2. Why? The reason is it is there with negative feedback. Now H1 that is there in between 6 to 3. So connected 6 to 3 negative feedback H1. 6 to 3 minus H1. And 8 to 2 negative unity feedback. So 8 to 2 minus 1 negative unity feedback. So now we have actually placed all those parameter which is what we have placed it in signal flow graph. So this is what our signal flow graph now. I hope that you have understood this. <coughs> now <coughs> to solve this we can apply Machin's gain formula and as we know Machin's gain formula is C by R that is summation of Fi delta I divided by delta where F is forward paths. Now we need to see how many forward paths are there. See this is one forward path and this is second forward path. So there are two forward paths. So we should make this formula to F1 delta 1 plus F2 delta 2. The reason is there are two forward paths divided by delta. Now this is these are the parameters that we need to calculate here. So first of all let us calculate forward paths. So forward path. Now first forward path F1. So that is C1 into 1 into G1 into 1 into G2 into G3 into 1 into 1. So that is G1, G2, G3. So G1, G2, G3. And second forward path that is 1 into 1 into G1 into 1 into G4 into 1 into 1. So F2 that is G1, G4. Now second parameter that is delta I. Now first we need to calculate what is delta 1. So delta 1 is 1 minus loops not touching F1. Right. Now if you see this forward path all loops are touching to F1. So 1 minus 0 that is 1. Now delta 2 that is 1 minus summation of loops not touching F2. So that is 1 now you see this forward path, even that is touching to all loops inside. So I can say 1 minus 0 that is 1. Now third thing that we need to calculate which is delta. So delta is 1 minus summation of single loops plus summation of two non-touching loops minus summation of three non-touching loop but I don't think there is three non-touching loop so I'm just keeping it up to this only. Now one minus single loops. So let us see how many single loops are there. Now see I can see this single loop G2, G3 minus H2 this. So let us mention it first G2, G3 minus H2 so minus G2, G3, H2. Now second single loop that is one can say G1, G2 minus H1. This G1, G2 minus H1. So I am just mentioning it. Minus G1, G2, H1. Now third, C, third is this bigger one. G1, G2, G3 minus 1. So that is minus G1, G2, G3 and fourth single loop. So that is G1, G4 minus 1. So that is G1, 
you can see it is g1 g4 minus 1 g1 g4 minus 1 so minus g1 g4 and one more loop that one can see 1 into g4 into minus h2 so minus g4 h2 minus g4 h2 now see i have solved this and i don't see any two non-touching loops so there are no two non-touching loops i can say so we can say plus zero so if you simplify this further it will be one plus g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g2 h1 plus g1 g2 g3 plus g1 g4 plus g4 h2 now we can place that into this basic formula for final answer so c by r that is f1 into this one so that will be g1 g2 g3 plus into 1 means 1 plus g1 g4 into 1 and divided by this term so that is 1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g2 h1 plus g1 g2 g3 plus g1 g4 plus g4 h2 so this will be our final answer which is what transfer function i hope that you have understood this session i have tried to simplify this block diagram into sig signal flow graph first and then by applying Mason's gain formula we have solved this thank you so much for watching this video you can give your valuable suggestions based on that in future i'll place videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video